All right, guys, so Matt is back. Uh, yeah, good finally. to have you back. <laughs> Very nice to have yeah. you back. You're telling us. Yeah, I went on a little uh, vacay. Yeah, what you, was uh, it, a month? I was, it was two weeks in some days. That's a month LA time. Two weeks in 10 days. Yeah. I, I had a great time. I had people I had to see. I had some weddings I had to go to. Of course you oh, had some oh, weddings wedding. to go to. A wedding. When's your next wedding? Um, In two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> is it really? Yes. You got to be kidding I, me. I don't understand. How do you know that many people to well, be Patricia like... Patricia knows people. I'm in a relationship. Oh, she has a ton of friends I'm in too. a relationship. I can't I can't find anybody to get married that we can go to a wedding. She's I, from the South. People get married... To each other. <laughs> siblings. I don't even make like my cousin's <laughs> weddings. He's making everybody he knows. It's like, it's oh, just, I know him. We're going to go to his wedding. It, it's just an excuse to get away from us. Yeah. I think that's what it is. If y'all got work. invited to a wedding, you'd be going. You know okay. how many I, I turned down? Every wed- no, I go to every wedding I'm invited to. Really? Yeah. yeah. Even if you're like not the closest with them, I want to be invited. No, always the bridesmaid. I guess. I bride. think. I think Matt's I'm thing is like. I'm only invited if I'm super close to them. I feel like people think they're closer to Matt than Matt is to them. Yeah. That's why he always gets invited. Ooh. Like you give <laughs> off this energy. Like people feel comfortable. They're like, I'm best friends with. I Matt. want Matt I'm, at my wedding. I'm a ham at a wedding though. You know, I'm I'm on the dance floor. You're like the I'm, wedding I'm, guy to invite. Yes, and I'm a good I'm a good date and a good guest to like. Oh. I can keep people talking and stuff. Okay. Every wedding he's ever been at, he gives a speech. <laughs> I do not. I actually do not like giving speeches. Why don't you weddings. marry every every like all of your friends? Oh, be an officiant. Yeah, I haven't really been asked in a while, and um. But you should make it a thing. Like, do a promo on your Instagram or something. Like, hey, if you guys want to get married, no, hire me. Then at that wedding, I can't drink for like a long time. Uh, I, I'm yep. just as nervous as the bride and groom are. You're... I have to pay attention to. That uh, when people are walking up, when they're exiting, oh. like the pace of things. So there's you're, a lot of work. Oh, pressure. so you're not allowed to like do it. Like you're working. You're basically <laughs> like you are paying attention to everything. Yes. I thought you could just kind of kind of go on a win. Like we'll do whatever you want. He's and then probably just... the most important person next to the bride and groom. Yeah, yeah. true. You have to be aware. And then like after you want to like get, you know, fucked up on the dance floor and everyone sees you as the holy man. <laughs> <laughs> but no, we had a really, really great time. We did a wedding and then we went to uh, Michigan spend a lot of time in the sun dude i'm so fried i am beat mm-hmm. michigan has those crazy june bugs oh is that the video that we were looking at where it was literally yeah. it looked like it's supposedly fog. michigan like you and couldn't alabama see through it because Texas it was so many bugs. June bugs oh yeah on, are june bugs those locusts the no, locusts like that are they look like beetles they're not the oh okay that shit like wh- where was that like every year they have it like the gas the, station is completely covered. Yeah, yeah like, oh, what, what are the like mayflies? Yeah. Mayflies, uh, June mayflies. June, May, whatever. some sort of bug. <laughs> <laughs> whatever <laughs> month. <laughs> That's crazy. What? Mayflies are kind of harmless though. Wait, They're like little they... like dragonfly kind of things, and you always catch them like it looks like ones on the door, but it's been dead for days. Wow. When yeah. they die, do they like disintegrate, or you gotta sweep or yeah. vacuum <laughs> them up? Oh yeah, they are like leaves. You just sweep them up, push them aside. Weird. Yeah. But oh, I didn't really no. run into them. There were a lot of lightning bugs. You know, pe- you know, people whatever. collect out there make dresses and shit just like Dre- weird shit dress? out of those yeah because you have so many did i'm sure people cruella? make yeah that's a, yeah did you watch cruella and yes like, yes <laughs> i did God. i did his brain <laughs> it's good that's like some shit from you know people mommy. are making dresses out of that <laughs> yeah like what, what the... kind of fact <laughs> oh my god no i'm saying i'm sure they t- like people take that and make shit out of it because there's just so many out of like, dead Ooh. bugs <laughs> yeah weird there's weird people and fucking weird but come on no but it was a really good wedding though uh, but we were at the wedding patricia lost um one of her grandma's earrings like oh, on no. the dance floor or at the reception and what was really frustrating frustrating about it is because on our way to the wedding in like the uber she goes oh I hate this earring. I feel like it's going to fall off because, like, the back is so old. And I'm like, okay, I'll just keep an eye on it. And then, sure enough, she's like, I lost it. And I was like, oh, no. no. But so then I, like, it's I all made, mangled some, from being on the dance floor. Yeah. People are just like stomping when on it. Something's lost. I like looking for it. Like, and especially in an area like that, I feel like I can find it. So, I, and it gives me something to do. So I was just keeping my eyes around on the dance floor and everything. All of a sudden, everybody starts <laughs> exiting. And I'm like, this is great. Patricia's all upset. Everyone's lining out for the bride and groom to exit. Everyone has their sparklers. I'm like looking around looking under this table and a woman comes up to me she goes what are you looking for and i'm saying my girlfriend lost this earring it's her grandma's very valuable she goes oh we found it (gasps) oh i was like no way no way yeah you probably found a bunch of different little earrings she comes out right with it and i was so excited wow that's a good person right there i'm like guess what she goes what i found it i'm surprised you weren't going around did you say you found it no (laughs) i actually told her that the people had found it, but I wish I said I found it because yeah. I could have got a couple more brownie points. 
I just I just pictured the uh, like the movie scene where you're like you're looking and it's being kicked around the dance floor and like yeah. you yeah. see it and you're just no, trying no. to <laughs> get it. We need it. They're waiting for someone to look like they're looking for it. Like I or, guess I think oh. that's what had happened, but you never know like what also they find. Or she that's one hearing. thing about people like the lost and found. They don't come asking if anybody lost anything. Yeah. No. It's just like you have to go in and be like. Yeah. But I'm surprised that lady wasn't like anybody lose an earring. Like she was just kind of held it on her until. Wait, you're gonna stop a whole wedding? Hey, stop. Well, no, like during the re- like, re- or I don't know, just like while Excuse people me, well, are walking the Honda around. Civic, please. <laughs> but when you do something like that, anybody could be like, I did. And they'll be like, here, I guess. and it's not the person. Usually you have to like keep it and wait for someone to Make them it. describe it. And then, yeah, they go, what does it look like? Mm. A shiny <laughs> <laughs> 10 carats. Yeah, right. It wasn't a 10 Was carat. it 10? No, it was not. <laughs> but we have an intro to do, right? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> Cheers to Matt returning back. Happy to be back. As he should. <laughs> As he should. Where you should Coming be. back to his job that he's paid to do. <laughs> <laughs> it's coffee oh, talk. Baby. Baby. <laughs> Washing me in my clothes. I'm washing me in my clothes. <clears throat> Welcome back to Zane and Heath Unfiltered. I'm Zane. I'm Heath. I'm Matt. I'm Mariah. Welcome back. Thank you. Happy Monday. Heard you guys had some really great talks. Um, <laughs> sorry you guys lost money in Vegas. It's okay. A lot of <laughs> shit happened really in bad. Vegas. When I heard that, I was like, oh. <laughs> Shut up. Try that Shut again. up. Wait, come on. Try like, that again. It's not I, funny. No, I was. No, I, I exactly. But, you know, it was bound to happen. Yeah, I mean, it was pretty silly. We I'm weren't like, supposed to lose. I know. But then imagine if you won. Then it would be like. Matt, you, I was really drunk right before the bet happened. I just pulled out. Oh, you did. How yeah. much were you going to put in? I don't remember. It I was like rem- 1500 or 3000 Yeah, 1500 or 3000 And I just remember I just. Oh, you did. <laughs> Now he's like, where's the money? I was like, I spent it already. <laughs> she was like, Zane, where? I was like, I, I bought a bottle from this lady. She was like, okay. Sure. Uh-huh. sure. Then I know you guys have already talked about it. And everything, yeah, we so talked. I'm we... sorry for your loss. Did you listen to the episodes you missed? No. <laughs> Why? I live the episodes, you know? I all right, all right. Fair enough. Fair the enough. whole last episode was literally Vegas. Nothing else. Oh, I know. It sounded crazy. It was a crazy recap. Yeah. Um, but I'm glad you had a good time. Yeah, if awesome. you haven't heard that one, make sure to check out the last episode. <laughs> nice plug, Heath. Good Were job. you mad at Heath? Wait, for what? No, she bet too. You bet too? Well, I was going to split it with him. I didn't end up doing it. Oh. Her debit card oh. didn't work. She it, couldn't, it worked. <laughs> she it couldn't worked. couldn't get the funds to clear. It worked. <laughs> There's always something wrong with my fucking card. I can never pull cash out. That wasn't even my cash. It was a problem it was to have. Is. I kind of wish mine didn't work. How do you you're able to pull out ten thousand dollars at one time? No, no, not not that much. But like, do you have to like sign papers? I did. It was such a hassle. Yeah, you were able to. Like, I couldn't take out five k. Okay. Do you <laughs> get it in <laughs> cash? I think you have to like sign I also, papers. I also I had to I, I had like to call and get my my uh, <laughs> my limit bumped up so I'm allowed to like that person working on the other line just like I'm over here and ding 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 ding. ding. <laughs> hey. Uh, yeah, it's just he got yeah. more money. <laughs> I'm going to need to <laughs> bump my limit. <laughs> it was so sad that Ilya and Joe like lost. Uh, that was their, their like podcast money, and they <laughs> lost it all by betting. Imagine that was us. Mm. Yeah. Now they're, now they're really lightweight to the podcast. <laughs> During the yeah. episode, people were coming in, knocking down our walls because we spent it all on black. Pulling our set down. <laughs> oh, man, but it was everything. a good trip. Uh, yeah, it was really fun. But not again. I don't want to do that again. I think that was, that's the last time. Uh, you ever yeah. going to Vegas or doing a little roulette bet? Doing the bet. Just letting myself go. I just like really. Zane just... every weekend. Zane last no. night. No. What, what did I do last night? Exactly. You don't even remember. I, okay. You're right. But I think you did party last night or you kept the night going. You pulled up to the house. Sunday? I didn't last see you night. yesterday. The, the McGregor all. fight, you, uh, you oh, got that pretty was rowdy. What a fight, huh? I know, that was crazy. man. crazy. I mean, all the other fights before that, it was just kind of like you're watching. You feel like you're watching them having, like, they have to fight because they're getting paid. But like, that McGregor was first round, and, right? Yeah, yeah. end of it, the first round. That would have been. Right. That was so entertaining. Yeah, it was going to be a really, really fun fight. I walked right into a bar while it was happening, and I'm like, oh yeah, this is on. Like, in within the 60 seconds of me walking Crazy. in. His oh, you didn't have snaps. to pay to go into this bar? Usually they charge. No, there was no the cover door. fee. There oh, was weird. no cover fee. And the match was already on. It, we were in Grapevine, Texas. Oh, um, isn't there like he isn't there like a like some sort of rule or law where you can't show 
fights in like no in like they a just bar? Have, they just have to buy it the bar has to like yeah the bar is spending oh the i thought the bar it. has to but like, then they try pay. to make the money back by p- advertising that oh, they have it so yeah. they do a that cover fee that makes sense um it was weird though because I was the only person. You ever been in like a in a, a sporting event type situation where you're the one person rooting against what everybody else is Not. rooting for? Oh my god! And you're just <laughs> yeah. trying to <laughs> yes, yes. I I was so happy when I saw that shit happen. Not that he, br- I don't want him to get hurt, but like. Just the fact that he lost. Like, I do not like McGregor at all. Did you hear the shit he was saying after? Oh, when he was on the floor. Wait, that that was wife crazy. is in my DMs. Yeah. But, like, it, okay. Ooh, cool. Like, get a He's new all fuck. talk. I know. I shouldn't be running my mouth, baby. <laughs> come he comes back. after us. <laughs> yeah. he, he limps in. He wants to fight us, too. No, I just, like, I, I don't know. He's such a jerk. He just I know. seems I like, feel a, like his time now has come to an end. Because it was yeah. entertaining. But I'm like, this guy's all talk. Do you think that was just like he did that character because it worked and then he just got sucked into his own character? Or has he just always I think been it's, he just I think that's winning him. more money, you just get cockier and cockier and yeah. Uh, did you hear when he was like saying he he was saying uh he was gonna kill them in their sleep and he's like a fucking like Oh he's wild, huh? Dude. Is that a threat? Like that you don't say that shit. Live television baby. Oh man, but it was it was a really so now he is going to fight Jake. <laughs> I mean, he probably probably should now. <laughs> probably should now. I remember I saw Jake post a tweet right after the fight, um, and he said, "Yo, your fifty mil just went down to thirty five or something like that because Jake Jake wants to pay him like that mu- or he what how how does that even work when Jake's like I'll pay you thirty five mil to fight? How is that even worth it for Jake? Like how does that?" Fuck if I know. Where he gives he gives him thirty five million from like what he's making from his end after the fight. I don't know. I think he's just trying to like promise like he thinks that it would do so well like yeah. him being there that he can guarantee him thirty five million. Yeah, he's just trying to in pay per view sales yeah. to like. Yeah, I don't. I don't. Kind of like anything. trying to promote him and like egg him on to do it. Hmm. But yeah, it was it was a fun night. You guys left though early, so yeah, was, fight was over. We were. That's a wrap. That's a wrap on the night. <laughs> yeah, you guys went home quick. Yeah, nothing else to do. And Natalie, Sports Illustrated, oh, walking yeah. on the runway. So yeah, cool. I was incredible. Go. Like that is wild to see. That it's is so crazy. Sick. There were so many people there. Like I saw the videos. Of, I thought it was gonna be like a very kind of like you know those like runway shows that are like not a lot of people are there. It's like kind of they limit it. It was but packed. There was, it looked like there's a thousand people there. It was fucking insane. Oh, I could never walk a runway. <laughs> I think I would practice and I think I could get it down. And the moment I'd hit that catwalk, I would just be like, <laughs> the, like my, not moving my arms enough or moving them way yeah. too much. The thing is, I'd be so insecure where I'd like be walking and I'd look at my friends because I'd know where they're sitting, <laughs> and then I'd fuck up just because. I'm like, oh fuck, they're watching, they're watching. Okay. All right, all right. It's gotta be so nerve wracking because you're like literally thinking like the only thing going through your head is don't trip. Uh, and yeah. I would I would mess myself up. But you thinking like don't trip, you're now walking funny because yeah. like you you're like trying to not trip. Do you think you could catwalk for us? I mean I, you're already a dancer. So. Yeah, I think that I think I could. I'd you're, definitely yeah, be made fun good. of for doing too much. Like I'd definitely be like swinging on a little Them too much because that's just be... in me. Yeah. <laughs> Like, well, I that, definitely I mean, don't know how to, to model walk, but I can, like, dancer in heels walk. Yeah. I'll tr- I mean, I'll try it. <laughs> <laughs> next one. Sports ill. <laughs> yes. Next next fashion show. Okay. I got invited to one once a long time ago. They wanted me. It was something, like, it was, like, a You're rare like, fashion show. It was, like, fashion show. It was a, no, it was or a sm- something. It was a small company, and it was, like, during fashion week, but it was one of those shows that nobody was going to. It was the, It was on the side. It was at the mall. Yeah. Like, no, it five was, like, away. very, very low. Like, yeah. But you should have done it for practice. That, that, no, I wanted to do it because I was filming you YouTube to. videos every week, so I was like, that would be such a funny video to have, like, me getting ready for my fashion show, and I just walk in, and I look like shit. They would be like, now bring out the airbrushes. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our sponsor of this episode, Honey. We all shop online. It's like the, the it's the new thing, baby. Every every time we need something, you go right to the internet. Why why leave your house? Why go to the store when you just shop online? And we've all seen that promo code feel taunt us at checkout. Mm-hmm. It happens all the time. But thanks to Honey, there's no more manually typing in promo codes. It just does it automatically for you. Honey is the free shopping tool that scours the internet for promo codes and gives you the best one right to your cart. And Honey supports over 30,000 stores online from tech, gaming, fashion, and even food. So imagine you're shopping at one of your favorite stores, my favorite store right now, because I got to get a ton of knickknacks because mm-hmm. I'm staging my house. Right. I saved like 250 bucks because I had to get a lot of stuff to make the backyard and the right, house look right. nice. It was amazing. And how did Zane save all that money, you ask? Do tell. You just shop like you normally do, and then at checkout, the honey button drops down, you click apply coupons, 
and you just wait. And then Honey searches for the best coupons for that site, and when it finds a coupon, watch those prices drop, baby. Honey has found its over 17 million members over $2 billion in savings. That's a lot of money saved. Uh-huh. Good on you guys. If you don't already have Honey, you could be straight up missing out on free savings. It's literally free and installs in a few seconds. And by getting it, you'll be doing yourself a solid and supporting this podcast. And we would never recommend something that we don't actually use. And it's so easy. All you got to do is go to joinhoney.com slash unfiltered. Again, get Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash unfiltered. That's joinhoney.com slash unfiltered. Thank you, honey. We love you. We also want to give a big thank you to our next sponsor, Full Sail. Located just outside of sunny Orlando, Florida, Full Sail University offers associates, bachelors, and master's degrees designed for the world of gaming, filmmaking, music, art, and technology. I'm actually really excited about this because this is my dream school, and I wanted to go here so bad. Oh, yeah. My parents wouldn't let me go. And I remember being like, this is exactly what I want to go to school for because like, I was always into like filmmaking and like yeah. do doing the social media stuff. And I was like, this is perfect. Yeah, that, um, that's what we're going to do. So like, I'm really excited to, to do this ad read. This is really cool. Offered both online and on campus. These programs are accelerated so you can earn your degree in half the time. Why well, take so long I mean, to just get just, it done? That should just sell it right there. I know. Half the time. If you can do it, why not? Exactly. Each degree is hands-on and immersive, and they give you a laptop to use with all the latest technology so you can learn hands-on and use the industry standard. Full Sail grads have gone on to do big things, from mixing hit records to working on major Hollywood films to winning Grammys, Oscars, and more. It's you incredible. see why I wanted to go so bad. Yeah. And they're super hip. They stay on top of the industry trends, and the alumni are actually allowed to come back and audit the classes that they've previously done. All while receiving lifetime career development support throughout their professional journeys. So if you want to learn more about Full Sail's entertainment programs and even scholarships, all you got to do is go to their website, visit fullsail.edu slash unfiltered. That's fullsail.edu slash unfiltered. Thank you so much, Full Sail. That was really cool. We had Jonah's birthday. He got what did he get for his birthday? Like a Pokemon card? He, he got a Pokemon pack. Who freaking who gave out? Him a pack? Um, I, I'm not sure. One somebody, of his friends did. Like an met. OG Pokemon yeah. pack? How yeah. much is an he got OG a Pokemon pack? I think well, she said it was like 500 it. bucks for the pack. Like a first edition like yeah. release yeah. pack. And, and he then opened the, it? The Pikachu card that he, he got a Pikachu card and apparently those are worth like between what, five to 15K? Did he put on gloves like, yeah. and like yeah. did like an yeah. opening? Oh, yeah, yeah. he was like, nobody touched my fucking cards. Like, oh, when he was doing this? No, he was freaking out though. And ever and he got a, a some sort of Pikachu. rare Pikachu. Yeah, there were two cards that he like freaked out over. Wow, crazy! But what, did he get his money back for the five hundred dollars sealed pack? I think, I think so. so. I think, I think that, the Pikachu that one was, was worth more. quite a bit. Yeah, we were talking. We were talking about it that night, but it's crazy how my brother like had an entire binder. Dude, as I had a separate like, binder with all my holographics. All I do not know where it is. I lost mine. Still too. in their package. Still in their, like he had a ton of those in their package. All like I think I took nuts. mine to college and like I left it on a shelf at a party and someone snagged it. Like all my holographics. Charizard was in there, man. And Fuck a Japanese man. Charizard. How much do you think those are worth? I don't know. I'd say like twelve hundred dollars. Maybe. Huh? I thought they're worth more than that now. Like my okay, but like I don't know what year I got my chart. Like the Charizards that are really expensive are like a first edition Charizard. Yeah. Like by the time I got my Charizard, I you know that's like the original year when the cards were. Yeah. Out. I was ask, I was asking Joan. I'm like, there's no way that they can just make a fake first edition like card. You know what I mean? Because they know it's like popular now, so they're like, oh, let's just print out these like, like people first counterfeiting edition. like yeah, because they don't look special. You look at it and it's it's like a regular fucking card. Yeah, I'm sure there's got to be like. I have a the feeling the serial it's... numbers got to check. Like, there's got to be some sort of way to. Tell. I don't think there's even serial numbers on cards. Is there? Yeah, they're numbered. Yeah, they're numbered. Really? I don't know. Oh. I bet just a professional can yeah. know a dupe before it. I texted my brother. Real. I was like, "Bro, you don't have that binder, do you?" He's like, "No." And I'm like, he, "Ali, not to like piss you off, but that binder would have been worth like five hundred to a million now if you had these." Like, bro, I'm so pissed. Don't tell me. This. Did you ever collect them all? No. Gotta catch me. I I didn't play. I just like would get them every once in a while, and I would just draw them. Well, no one would ever like play the game, Pokemon cards. I played the Game Boy game, the Game Boy, the yeah, trading card. Yeah, that yes. was fun. But like, yeah. no one ever like sat down and played the game I with can't. the cards. My were brother that did. Shit all the time. My brother had his binder and he was playing. Whoa! I thought people like I thought like the only cards you could play with are like Yu Gi Oh cards because you had like a whole set and you like put the well, cards. Well, Yu Gi Oh the places. show they were playing the game with the cards on the show, right? Because that's really? why he had the thing, and he would flip out the cards, and they would throw down the cards. Pokemon, they were throwing balls and just battling the moves. Yeah. Yu-Gi-Oh! Yeah, was all about the card. Right. 
Oh shit, you're right, you're right. Yeah. Yeah, but like the it, the the cards would have like the little symbols and the water and the fire mm-hmm. and yeah. you would be able to like beat the other oh, card. Yeah. I think it was kind of like war, like right? Like war, yeah. You yeah. would like flip it and then if your card beat theirs, you like took it or some sort of thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, something like that. <laughs> oh, what are People that know tired. how to play Pokemon are just like you same, I have no idea what I'm talking about. The same time as Beyblades. Remember the... Oh, I used to Ooh. love those. All the same love era. Those. One of my friends had the dome. Oh, like, yeah. The big plastic yes. dome that was like the top of like a cake. Like they <laughs> oh, just turned it man. upside down. so now. cheap, but like it was just so cool to have. Yeah. I never got any of the, like, the cool toys. I just had to go borrow them from friends. Yeah. Yeah, my cousins had all the cool stuff. Yeah. The I, fucking red. Yeah, I usually chill with the Hot Wheels. I love playing with oh, the Hot Wheels. Oh, did you ever play Bionicles? They were like the Lego men. Wait, that sounds that weird. They had the little twisty thing Whoa. in the back, and you Whoa. would knock off the, the helmet. Yeah! Yes! You just unlocked a fucking crazy you, memory. Yeah, and you'd buy them in those little, like, I don't know, like, like plastic tub, and you would get it out, weird. and you'd assemble it, and there was, like, the the, the, the snow one, the red guy, yeah. the green one, and you, you would wow. battle them and knock off their masks, and that's how you won. That's crazy. Didn't they make, like, a video game out of it, too? Bionicles? I think there was a TV show. Oh, TV did you, show. Did you guys use... This was my favorite thing when I was younger. I don't know if anybody else had them, but it was a Power Ranger and there was a tab on the back and, they, and it, oh the head oh would flip gosh. and it I would be him and that. then it would flip and he would have the helmet on. Yes. I still have the, oh, the blue one. How, oh my God. how did they build that shit? I forgot it's about fucking that. crazy. Uh, yeah. I also have one from the movie The Mask, but it's the villain in The Mask and he has the mask oh, on. He's I had that one too. He's like a tuxedo. I had that one yeah. too. <laughs> and it flipped up and then he's like this green man. That's cool. Wow. Matt, I can't believe you just brought that up. I, yeah, dude. That's crazy. The mask. Toys were cool back then. As a kid, you try to open it, figure it out, but you could never figure it out. You just. Did you used to have the. It was like a. Kind of like an indie car track that was on the ground and it would have like stands and you could have it like go up and go off the ground and go over top of the road and then you built it however you want and you had like a little gun on the side like was it like an electric yeah. it was an electric and car like or like yeah the- and there was a needle that would go down into the track and you pull the trigger and it would like zip around yes. and you would like have to speed up slow down and like do the track i hate i i, I know exactly what you're talking about but i hated those ones because it was like zzz, 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 and then like, it, it would get off the track every be, fucking minute like, your car wouldn't work like your cousin <laughs> would give you and go yeah you're that car and everyone would take off you're the beetle be like, stop stop and then, do you remember Zip Zaps? Zip Zaps, what's that? Zip Zaps, you could only buy them at Radio Shack, and they had like the Fast yes, and the Furious yes. ones, and you could modify and it had them the little with like antenna little coming off. Yeah, you could put little batteries in them and make them go faster. Wow. Oh yeah. no, I don't remember that. Zip Zaps. Wow. Cool. Yeah, dude, I, Patricia and I, we were at the airport. I saw a guy get tased at the <gasps> airport. Oh shoot! Like, what was he uh, doing? We were. Uh, Patricia was checking in her bag. I'd already checked in mine. I'm on my phone. And then we hear all these people go, <gasps> and we look over, and this man has been tased to oh, the ground. No. Um, I we think from what I could tell that this dude was trying to like either get out of town really fast, um, and had drugs on him because like the oh, dog shit. was going nuts. Uh, so and I don't yeah. know if it was like cocaine, and the, the, this dude looked like a guy who was like involved in like carrying some shit. Yes, oh, trafficking or you something. You see, the last place I would go if I was involved in that shit is that fucking airport. It's a, He's probably in trouble and was trying to like yeah, he probably get, out, get thinking. out quick and was just freaking out. I know, but like you're sa- you're you're you have a better better chance just like driving somewhere or like And he was like I, accepting of it. Like I don't know why I love seeing videos of people getting tased. Like it <laughs> yeah. is it, like seeing people running and then just oh, the, oh, the, and then they just fuck <laughs> like I don't know why it sounds fucked up, but like I it's satisfying, not in like a cruel way, like oh they're getting hurt. It's just like shot. the yeah, like you you it's the, like it's, it's just, just the, like the yeah. catching the criminal, like you know, like it, and then something about like the, the human the body just shutting down completely. Yeah. It just is you don't see it. Like my, it's just so interesting. My favorite videos are when people think that they're they're like when they're like there's like a bunch of cops everywhere and they're just like like. Freeze, like, stay where you are. And he keeps walking, thinking that he can, like, beat a yes. taser. And <laughs> he thinks he's stronger than the taser. And then they just, they're all right. And they shoot. And he's just, it's like, what were you expecting? One of my other favorite types is the, the people that are, like, wasted off their ass or they're on drugs and they get tased and it doesn't affect them. And they're, like, crazed. And seeing, like, oh, the, and they're dude, still talking. Like, yeah. they, they get shot. Yeah. There's the one dude, it, like, hits him in the chest and he, like, looks at it, He's like, 
you're next, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> he said something like that. And I'm like, that's so fucking cool. And the cops are like, oh my God. <laughs> what do you do? I forgot to charge. <laughs> but like, it's and dying. then people like ripping them out. Oh my oh, god! Yeah. Like, what do what, they have in their body that they're able to like withstand that? Drugs, lots of drugs. Superpowers. Would you would you like get tased <sighs> on purpose? If it was in a controlled like an environment where like cops were there, someone was holding my a hand or holding me, and they get, they a, get and shocked there's a cushion, too. There's a cushion mat where like, and they'll let me down. Like what they do at like cop academies. Yeah, I think. I would do it. I think I would too. And I if think... everyone was doing it too. Yeah, yeah. Like, no, no. I think I would do it. I would do it. I'm yeah. worried I would shit my pants or something. Yeah. Like it just yeah. strikes a nerve and I pee. I'm more scared of the things opening up inside. Like that Wait, that it's not like what yeah, what is it like a sticky thing? how like no, what no, is it? It's, it's needles. It's basically like a dart, like needles, and then once it goes in, it opens. So oh. you can't pull that's why it, like so it doesn't pull out. What? That's, oh, that's why awful. I would be like but it's, it's like a tiny little like cut though, right? I don't know. Because when they pull them out of those cop academies, everyone's getting like hurt then, right? I know it like like kind of expands so it doesn't like fall out. Dude, my dumbass thought it was a sticky pad, but like, it was, like how the fuck would a sticky it, pad no, work? He I'm thinks sorry. it's those things that you put on your back that like kind of. <laughs> <laughs> you, just, you just peel it off. <laughs> they're they're okay. using those sticky hands on the string and they're like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Not right there. Oh, I love on that. the windows. Stop. <laughs> oh fuck, oh, that's man. funny. Yeah, that and Mace. I, w I wouldn't want to try those. Dude, mm -hmm. I've been seeing so many videos lately like of, of like people on airplanes, like them doing crazy shit, like just being manic. People and, don't like, know try how to act. Fucking nuts. Oh, yeah, like, did you see the one where the, the guy was like trying to, or it was, it was, I think there was two videos, a like, guy and a girl, separate videos of them trying to open the plane mid flight. Like, get me out of here. I want to oh leave. And God. everyone's like, you can't leave. We're in the air. And they're just like, no, I got to go. Does you that, haven't seen those does videos? Does that fuck up the whole, like, obviously, like oxygen, like the pressure in the cabin? I don't think be... you can even open the door because of like the pressure. Yeah. That you can't. You can't like just pop it. Yeah. I feel like if you popped a, that door, would just. Whoosh, rip right off i think there's People, something when the plane goes into a certain kind of mode it knows to that oh, those are able to uh, be opened you know we were just talking about this the other day have you heard about the luckiest man in the world oh no. yeah is it about in japan so i don't know where it was but this guy he got on a plane and the plane he was sitting next to the door and the door ripped off and he fell out and the plane ended up crashing everybody died but him, he ended up landing in these giant hay bales and survived. What, what's a what's the, a hay bale? A hay. Hay. Yeah, a bale of hay. Oh, hey, hey! Sorry, I, I heard one <laughs> word. I was like, "What the fuck?" And hay then bale. hay. Okay. Uh, so he survived that. Didn't die. I blows my mind. Then he got into a train accident, and he was the only one to like survive that. He got hit by a train, right? Oh yeah, he got hit by like it what. Was, then yeah. he got he got hit by two or maybe it was buses. A bu a he got bus. hit by two yeah. buses within like a month. Didn't die. Like all these crazy things. It was like the first things. two accidents were like a couple weeks apart, and then he had like a couple year break, and then two more bus accidents happened, and he survived everything. He's literally he's known as like the luckiest man. I would in the say. World. Then, then he got into a car accident. The car caught fire, oh, and yeah. he didn't die. And then he ended up winning the fucking lottery. Wait a second. What's his state right now? Is he paralyzed? Like, I don't understand no. how he's no, still he's walking. No, he's normal. He's the luckiest man Dude, in the I world. Dude, got, I, got, I got to pull He's it's... probably like, what, 60 maybe? Yeah. It sounds so like dude, a movie. I, I, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's like something you wouldn't want to get like in a conversation with this guy drunk at a bar. Because he'd be like, and then this happened. <laughs> right. And then this he happened. He would just top everything Do you, you think have people to just say? don't like to surround themselves around him? Like, they're just like, yeah, yeah, we'll take okay. separate cars. Yeah, 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 yeah we're right. separate Uber. <laughs> um, his name is... The unluckiest man alive. Oh, unluckiest. Frain, that makes but more then because Did he Selleck? lose all of his lottery money? Yes. No, he, he he kept the money. He won like a million something dollars. Um, yeah, but something's, something's so going to come So, riding out. the rails of a train, uh, the train catapulted into a river. river. 17 people died, uh, but he was able to swim ashore and nothing but a, a broken arm and hypothermia. Um, the next year, he was flying... And he reports that an accident saw a door come detached from the aircraft. He was, yeah, okay. So this time, nineteen people lost their lives while he was reportedly found in a haystack. Woke up in the hospital. Wait a second. What year this, is this? this? Yeah, how? Like, where is this guy's interview? Like, how have we not heard of this? There's or a, he was born in Croatia in nineteen twenty nine. 
Oh, this is a long time ago. Um, oh, he's older the train, now. He's ninety. He's in his nineties now. The train he's happened 29. in nineteen sixty two. Um, then he got hit by the buses. Then his car caught fire, and then he won the uh the lottery, the Croatian lottery. Yeah, I don't even know what to say to that. Like, I just have so many questions about that. Yeah, I would, I would not, I would think life doesn't really exist if all that shit happened. I would be like, this is for sure a simulation. Like, but there's then, no but then way. It's like it has to happen. It's like I'm not surprised out of the probability of the universe that someone yeah. is that person. Right. You know? There had like, to be one. There has to be one. And do that's you think at him. some point, like after like the fifth crash or whatever, they're just like, it's you again. Like, how was it? Like. Why are you in uh, all yeah. of these? Out, that's like just a little suspicious. I would start to, to think like he was causing this yeah. shit. <laughs> okay, right. another plane going I mean, down. What, I mean, what sure. if what if he was? He's not like a stunt man. Like that's yeah. cool. he just like happened to come across these. Accidents. He hasn't been struck by lightning yet because it was yeah. old. The, 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 this was back in what you said 1922 is when born the, in 1929. <laughs> 19 or sorry 1962 is when it. I feel the, like people got away happened. with shit like that. Imagine Crazy. going through that and then winning the lottery. Good, good for him. I'm glad it, there's a happy ending to a series of unfortunate right. events. He's probably like 94 now. It would be crazy for him if he like ends up being the oldest man alive. Like oldest man to ever. Something. Something yeah. else has yeah. to happen. Hold a guy. record or something. Yeah. He would get picked for escape room. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Final destination. The movies roll, revolve yeah. around his life. Now, can you imagine being second to the oldest person alive? Yeah, that was. Do you like, think they're God. like? <laughs> Let God. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. When you die of old age, is it just because you're just so old where you just like you go to sleep one night you just don't wake up, or just something fails in your body, like <laughs> liver failure, or <laughs> I'm just you, like you, when you're someone silly. when someone like 96 is dying. Yeah. Everything yeah, you, your, your body, body starts, gives yeah, out. Yeah, your body gives out. Starts, so like something starts like while first. you're like making breakfast, or is it like when you're sleeping? Everybody's different, Zane. Exactly. What do you mean? I'm just curious, like, how do people die? <laughs> how does everybody die when they're old? <laughs> what's what's like the it the could main be heart failure? Okay, well, I, just like what was what's the main one? We heart don't know. disease. Heart disease. Heart, is heart disease. Like yeah. Okay, the heart number disease. one killer. <laughs> It's heart disease. Like when they they don't like fall asleep and not wake up. They fall asleep. They their heart stops. Like it could be to me. Like oh, she died of old age. Died in her sleep. Oh, that's she that's away? how I see. Oh, she passed away. Oh, she passed away. <laughs> yeah, shit just starts going wrong when you're old. It's insane. How do they? I'm gonna die? live forever. I like the positivity. My liver is gonna be the last one to give out. Your liver's gonna be in a museum. In a they museum. Ha- they have it on display. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just th- black. <laughs> I thought I was gonna see my grandpa, but he got pink eye. I thought you were gonna say something else. What? <laughs> I gr- thought my, I was gonna see my grandpa. My grandpa has like pretty bad dementia now, and yeah. uh, we thought we were gonna see him, but the elderly home didn't want to release him because he has pink eye. Mm. Release him. I know, but justice I, I'm so for worried. grandpa. I'm probably. <sighs> you can't even see him though, like even if he has pink eye. No. Oh. I don't think so. Or he couldn't make it down to Indianapolis to see him. Oh, got it. But the, even if he saw me, he probably wouldn't know who I am. Oh, it's sad. Oh, that's really sad. I'm yeah. sorry. It's just weird. Dementia like, is so scary. Yeah. So, <sighs> anyways. Well, this went dark. Um, oh. <laughs> so their brains just stop working and then they <laughs> die. So what's the main thing that stops? <laughs> they just stop sleeping, or mainly my question was, what is the most popular way to die when you're that? The old? most popular. The most popular way to common. die. When what's everybody doing? Common. What's like the trendy way to what die? What is the hip way to die when you're 100 years <laughs> the old? Hip That's way. what I'd like to know. Their hips go out. Yeah, they're. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jason's already dead then, so. Wow, we're dark, dark today. Dark dark dark, <laughs> dark, 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 and annoying. You know what? Sh- shut off the lights. Let's make this. I had a really fun week with my family. It was really oh nice. god, yeah, man. We, know, we, we saw. We know. Y'all we know. filmed it was everything. One thing after another. Um, I've sent your stories to everybody like six times throughout that entire trip. It looks like you're like I said this already, but it looks like you're in this like the scene of Get Out. It's like the, it's oh, the craziest thing. So we're, we're turning thing. it that way. I was it's, hoping it was going to be like, it's like cheaper, cheaper by the dozen. dozen. No, Your no. Cheaper by, by the dozen is not it. It's wide. It's it just, just wide, wide, wide. What was the wide. widest activity you guys did? Um, well, there was a boat parade. And we, uh, everyone has to do a theme. And Patricia this year was like, we should do an ABBA theme. And I was like, all right. Are, is everyone down? And the cousins were like, yeah, let's do it. And usually everybody... Uh, in the parade goes above and beyond very patriotic and we're doing kind of a unique theme the last year the person that won was like a rubber ducky with like soap bubbles all around it so we had to go Wait, that's kind of cute over the top 
But we went out there and we played ABBA. We all decorated and made ourselves very disco theme. And we just sang to the entire lake. Don't tell me you won. We won. Oh, my God. Out of how many? 45 boats. Wow. That's yeah. actually really cool. That's a yeah, lot. We were, It was the first time we've ever won. Since we were kids, we've always been doing it. We've always dreamed about the day we'd win. Can't and we go wrong with it. ABBA. So that was great. We did a, um, a poker pontoon game where every house you got a card. And then at the and you have to not uh so everybody gets into separate boats and pontoons and everybody's house is a separate station where there's a cocktail and you get a card and then you write down on your note card like okay I got the king of clubs and then you go to the next house and you get like a four of diamonds and then everybody then turns in their sheets at the end and you've gone to everyone's houses you've had cocktails and then you see who wins and the prize this year was like a thousand dollars don't tell me you won that my brother won like 200 jesus yeah everybody's just got boats yeah everybody just yeah it was really fun though it was like different stations mariah you would have loved yeah, it. what loved was that. like that the horse racing thing did i see that derby races it's a really fun game where you roll dice and everyone has their horses on pegs and you oh they have that in vegas up the ch chips they it's... had the big dice up top oh, yeah. the, it oh was they had it in vegas it was like a digital dice like in the ceiling uh -huh. and then they all had their own little like horse like sections it was really cute oh it's a fun game we need to buy it and play it one night heath you'd love it um, I thought of a cool party theme. Oh, what's the theme? Um, you have to dress up as like a celebrity with your name. So I would be like Mariah Carey. He's Matt Ledger. Damon. That's cute. And he, yeah. I like Zane that. Malik. Is Malik. Heath Malik. Ledger. Heath Ledger. Oh. Oh. It'd be fun. That would be cool. Well, who would I be? Or ooh, Matthew you McConaughey. Can, you have so many options. Oh, that's David a good Dober. one for you. Can we do that? Yeah. That's fun. We can even do that on here. Yeah. We could. Oh. I was just gonna say I feel so off without matching. Yeah, we're not I'm matching. Yeah. matching. We should also dress as one another. For like an oh, episode. No. oh well, I, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty close. Mariah, she dresses yeah. as me. You guys swim. Yeah, Matt I would definitely Mariah. do that. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> just like, <laughs> just sexy. But we're still matching, but just, just like in a just a bombshell. Just hot. <laughs> In a tiny apartment in Southern California, two college dropouts teamed up to create a watch company that broke all the rules. With fair prices, unexpected colors, and clean, original designs, Movement grew into one of the fastest growing watch brands, shipping to over 160 countries across the globe. Now Movement has expanded into blue light glasses to protect your eyes from screens, minimalist jewelry, and more style essentials that don't break the bank, all designed out of their California headquarters. On July 20th, Movement is going to be celebrating their eight-year anniversary by running a huge site-wide sale. How huge? Huge. Every single thing is 28% off. That's 28% off all their best-selling watches, blue light glasses, jewelry, and more. I actually have been buying movement watches for the last like eight years. When I first moved out here, I got like probably like six pairs, like just different like styles that I could wear when I was going out. Yeah. Um, so that's why I chose to get these glasses and try them out. And I got Mariah a watch this time. So now she's part of the movement family. Check it out, baby. Rose gold. That watch is actually really nice. Let me take a closer look at it. Wow. Beautiful. Just like good, good quality. They make good quality stuff over there. Yeah. So if you want to become a part of the movement family, take advantage of their eighth birthday that's coming up. It's going to be their biggest sale of the year. And uh, yeah, get it. 28% off. And you get everything for such a fair price. So you can get these glasses and you can get blue light glasses that will not only make you look great, but filter 90% off the most intense blue light rays from your digital screens so you can scroll comfortably. So pick something out for yourself or give it as a gift to friends and family. They're going to absolutely love it. So don't miss Movement's biggest sale of the sale, year. Sale, sale. Go to MVMT.com slash unfiltered and enjoy your 28% off. Sale, sale, sale. That's 28% off site wide. That's 28% off site wide at MVMT.com dot com slash unfiltered so get online and join the movement be part of the change sales gonna be huge thanks movement before we continue this episode is sponsored by upstart if you're carrying a credit balance month after month after month it'll feel like you're stuck in a never-ending cycle of debt upstart can help you make that final payment just so you can get ahead upstart is the fast easy way to pay off all your debt with a personal loan all online. Whether it's paying off credit cards, consolidating high interest debt, or funding personal expenses. Over half a million people have used Upstart to get one fixed monthly payment. Upstart knows that you're more than just your credit score and is expanding access to affordable credit. Unlike other lenders, Upstart considers your income 
and your current employment to give you a smarter rate for your loan. With a five minute online rate check, you can see your rate upfront for loans between $1,000 to $50,000. And you could receive these funds as fast as one business day after accepting your loan. Ooh, I like that. We like it fast. Find out how Upstart can lower your monthly payments today when you go to upstart.com slash unfiltered. That's upstart.com slash unfiltered. And don't forget to use our URL so they know we sent you. Loan amounts will be determined based on your credit, income, and certain other information provided in your loan application. So just go to upstart.com slash unfiltered thank you upstart we saw a celebrity today got to hang out with him who, who? wait who's we Zane me and you and I. oh you did how do i forget how do i forget this who were we with all day oh tupac <laughs> he's we dead. were with tupac T all no day. no we are, he was he's alive and he's thriving today were you with a tupac impersonator don't yes. don't do that so, wait, how was he really good he was Look he looked he looked just like Tupac. Is that the one from online? There's a big yeah. character online. Get the fuck out of here. Let me see that. Literally, even in person, he looked more like Tupac. Yeah. Like, the picture doesn't even do it justice. Like, oh. Identical. Wow. It was crazy. Oh, my gosh. The eyes. Yeah. Does he just drive around town like that? No, no. So, they, uh, remember the Six the oh. six Flags vlog on David's vlogs where uh, Vardon thought he saw Tupac and he was, like, freaking out and crying? Oh, yeah. Like, I saw him. I swear to God. So, David found an impersonator and oh, he crazy. looks identical to wow. him. And he did this bit where we um, picked up Vardon, uh, made him think that we were going to a skate park, and then... He was just kind of chilling in the neighborhood and we drove by him and, you know, we just hoping that Vardon would just turn around and look at him. But we all keep driving. Like, we don't say anything. We just, like, keep going and we just go to the skate park and see if he's Did it work out perfectly? Yeah. He, so we pulled up next of to them course. and loud music was playing and he goes, oh, my God. Oh, my God. No way. No. And we're all just on our phones like this. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. And I remember like, ding, ding, ding. Yeah. And he just, he's freaking out. Everyone's just like, huh? Like, what are you talking, like, because he, he made no sense. Like, he was just speaking a bunch of, like, gibberish. We're like, Vardon, what are you what are you doing? And he's like, I saw Tupac. You guys are fucking with me. We're like, what? Like, what like, are you saying? Vardon, not enough, dude. The joke's He probably over. thinks he's the chosen one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so no. he, he, like, he thought it was, like, fishy. And he was like, no, you guys are just acting. You guys are good actors. And we're like, I have no idea what the fuck you're talking about. So he kept playing it off. And then he started to, like, get kind of, like... Well, oh, wait, what? And then we looped back around. We're like, there, there's nobody there. So we looped back around and we told the guy to get out of the car to sw switch seats with the other guy that was there. So we pulled back up and it was the same car, but Tupac wasn't in oh, it. Oh, no. Oh, that's that was really funny. Funny. Who, I was just like, Who thought of that? You thought of that? I think so. That is a we great were, It move. was all just kind of like... Okay. Because wow. we're like, he's just spinning around and he's just like not in the car anymore. Oh. Just to make Varon think he's going fucking insane. It, it, it didn't <gasps> work. Terrible. I don't know. He was just I like, it was, it was really funny. It was really good. And, and then we went a third time and Tupac, Tupac was back in the car. Was he really in character or? Oh, wait. Uh, yeah. No, Tupac, it was looked. funny because like when we pulled up, uh, he goes like this. He looks at Vardon and he was like this. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's goes, funny. Shit. Yeah. Just put his finger to his lips. The first time he did that, right? Yeah. Yeah. So good. <laughs> That's really funny. Whoa. Did he get a picture with him? Yeah. Uh, yeah. They, they were all like crush. hanging out afterwards. It was like, so on, like sat, It was like a Tame Impala card that David got for a him to sit in. Tame Impala. Oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Tame Impala. Isn't Golly. that a band? Yes. It was like a Tame Impala. <laughs> Then you are something. You are funny. <laughs> what What was it? Just a Chevy, Chevy Impala. Oh, Impala. Yeah. Tame Impala. Tame Impala. Yeah, he was in a Tame, tame Impala. Impala. driving a Tame Impala. <laughs> uh, that's I, awesome. <laughs> oh, we, uh, speaking of celebrity, at my family um, reunion, uh -huh. we have our family baseball game. Turtles. I saw like Miss America was there Tur or something. Miss Michigan came. Yeah, Miss Michigan. We had Miss Michigan come throw the first pitch. <laughs> In what, like did, someone's backyard. Was it planned or was it just like okay, a... So I wanted to get the mayor... Of Coldwater, Michigan, to come out, um, Thomas Kramer. I sent him an email Only to explaining everything, and he said, "Matt, I appreciate the invite. I have family in town. Hope you guys have a good time." And we we're like, "Okay, we're gonna get this." So one best, best second thing. best thing, Miss Michigan. Cool. And then you just cold messaged her. Um, one of our good family friends, Megan Steer, is like Miss Broadway, so she's in a connection in a group chat with all the Miss Americas all around the country, and was like, "We need Miss Michigan." And Miss Michigan was like, "I'm in." 
We came. We raised That's money for her. That's so funny. Uh, it was Miss Michigan, Vivian Jong. She has a really great uh, charity. It's um, Kids Without Cancer. So you guys should check it out. Nice. nice. Make sure to check it out. We'll leave the link in the description below. It was a great time. It really was. She threw a good. Thing I thought she just like pulled up randomly, saw the game, and was just like, "Let me, let, yeah, let's see what this." Is. She just let has her face. sash. Her sash is just in like the trunk at all times. She did wear her sash though. She on. had like her um, crown in her? like a case, like it was That's like crazy. This wooden case, and she like opens it up, and the like wow. the crown. What a cool in it. Accomplish- and then accomplishment! And she... accomplishment just to have like. <laughs> yeah. That's so cool. She was pretty amazing. Yeah, your stories and our stories were completely different. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> what happened? We <laughs> we <Fake> saw <laughs> Miss Michigan. <laughs> what? We saw the um, Shark Week special. Oh How yeah, was it? I was supposed to go. So but hysterical. Dude. Yeah, it was really good. I honestly way ex- better than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be like educational, so I thought it was going to be a little boring. So that's what I was expecting it to be. And then it ended up being like really funny. Like I felt like I was watching a reality TV show. Was it yeah. one episode? Yeah, it was, it was an, an hour, hour special. special. Whoa. Yeah. And they so went and dove with sharks. Um, a couple people did. We don't well, want to give we, anything yeah, we don't want to give anything away, but like it ends up like it was just cha- chaotic. It was really funny. And what's cool is that they used joe and david's footage like they yeah. were vlogging it and the show used their footage i was oh, like that's cool. sick it was like 30 percent of the show it was, was their shot footage. like a vlog wow it's, yeah. it's cool because like i thought they would like kind of like tone the group down and it wouldn't really be like you know i thought you know it was going to be like a professional About the sharks it yeah. was right hectic. no but it, it felt like just a really long vlog and like everybody was still their personality and they were leaving jokes in that i was like oh shit okay they're they get it. They the get editors it. Are they did bleeping amazing. it? Or were there like bleeps and stuff? Um, yeah, there yeah. Were, yes. there was like bleeped out cuss words. But you know like what's going on. Yeah. I think I think it's bleeped for like I think when they showed on Discovery Channel it's bleeped, but like on the app I think they don't like bleep it out, right? Yeah, I don't. Cuz Discovery Plus is like a streaming service like Netflix, That's right? I watch it and I think they weren't bleeping it out. Yeah, I, I think know. that was just they're showing like the the sh- Discovery cha- I don't know. Gotcha. Because yeah. they were bleeping it throughout the thing we saw like her bleeps yeah. in there. It was but really it was, good. You guys should check really it out. Good. Download Discovery Plus and check it out. It's called Shark Bait with David Dobrik. Have y'all had any encounters with sharks in the past? Um, no, no, I don't think I've ever seen a shark. I tried. No I tried to go shark diving, but I think I think we talked about this when my fucking sinuses oh, blew up yeah. and I was bleeding all in my mask. Oh no! Yeah. It was so bad, dude. I probably would. And that's not good for the shark. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> yeah, you get right. under there, you're like, "Am I bleeding?" You're like, "No way." I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to put it back up in the mask and like close it so it doesn't and then smell. It clears up, and there's just sharks. Right <laughs> Can't in front they of you. smell a like a dot of blood from like? Yeah, yeah, it's the fucking scary. Um, I would have though. I I may, may I probably would have thought about it until I saw the guy um with no arm or leg on the show. And then I've been like, okay, nope. Were yeah, they with the guy. Their has... guide. Yeah. Got attacked by a bull shark and took his leg and his arm. It was funny. <laughs> they had him walk out right before they were getting on the boat, and they were all their faces were like, "Yeah, you knew they did this shit on purpose just to freak out everybody." He was very motivational, though. There was something oh, yeah. that he said. <laughs> Go get back in. <laughs> like what? <laughs> Wait, I was oh, out. he said, um, "Dying isn't scary, but like regretting not doing stuff in your life before you die is scary." Yeah, something like that. And I was like, "Hmm." True. Hmm. The, like his the way he acts, the way his personality is, he it's like cool. he he never lost his arm and like it's yeah, crazy. He's great. And he still goes back on the water. Yeah. Yeah. The shark. yeah. He it's got crazy. he got out there right away. He yeah. was like, give me a new arm and leg and I'm out. Like he's he had a whole like hand. If anybody could take that that well, it'd be him. If you got if you got your arm or leg amputated, would you go like bionic arm or would you go claw? Um and like maybe a peg, or would you do like a fake fake foot or would you do the one that has like the the curve no i'll do the one where you, you know like the, when you pick up trash like the a like pooper far, scooper a pooper, like, yeah i would get the one that's like my friend's you know dad sad? Had a hook. But you know what's sad not everybody can get those what, what do you mean there are some people who are out there who have amputees and they can't afford those oh, yeah, they're you so know expensive. how much are they like, so it's expensive. Super, super expensive yeah. so i i wish everybody had access to the coolest and the best one yeah um but what would i have i obviously i guess i'd want the coolest and the best one <laughs> um but i would want the kid who didn't have one to have one before i okay <laughs> matt. <laughs> matt okay matt. we all know it you don't you don't gotta <laughs> um <laughs> I, w- I would actually no, try no, to nobody, see. No, for, no, because then we oh, look back. Wait, yeah. No, no, nobody, 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 I saw nobody, through no, that. I saw through, right through that. Nobody in this group is going, yeah, I'm going to take it from this poor little kid <laughs> that got his fucking arm cut. <laughs> well, obviously, we would give it to somebody. Yeah. We, he, we don't even need to say that. They, the people watching, they know exactly well, what they're watching. I, I guess, yeah. No, I know what you're talking about. I, I Always says, what would you get? 
Um, what do you want? <laughs> what would Jesus do? A one where I could just do my tiny Christmas village really well. <laughs> That's a, a, so a claw. Something a claw. that could just like, yeah, a claw one, of course. He, he gets one that is like a 3D printer. That's <laughs> just, <laughs> just oh making all God. the different villages. My, mine is a beer opener. What's the one that the guy had on the show? Do, do you remember he seeing He just has like he a normal, a hand, like, like, oh, oh, like an actual like, hand. Yeah. Oh, that's was cool. Was it flesh colored? No, no it was no. all black. Okay. There was one of my Uber drivers one time had a, a fake arm from like the elbow down and it was tatted up. Like it looked really oh, sick. That's oh, that's really? a good yeah. idea. Oh, damn. That's pretty that badass. Cool. Oh, cool. Like it had like really cool like tattoo artwork on it. That's pretty yeah. cool. Oh, you know what? That's what I would do too. I would change it up every like month. Get a new tattoo it's on like it. It's like when you break your, your arm and everyone signs like, did they still do that? Your friends the sign your cast. I feel like it's it's like my, I want mine to be a cast for people. Can it's sign. a race. Like you don't like someone, <laughs> yeah. you're just like, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> cast seems so like fifty years ago. Right. I know. It seems. Like, I haven't seen a how cast have we not in years. Gotten better technology. Yeah. Like it they just, just seems... wrap it up in just paper mache and gauze <laughs> and hope crazy? for the best. Because it's like it gets hot. It smells bad. You would Stick think. Stick your arm in the kiln. Yeah. Oh. The kiln. The kiln. <laughs> And then the worst is when they like have to take it off. They bring out that just Hacks like off. oh, Hacks. that's terrifying. Yeah. Oh no. I don't know how people used to like cut them off themselves because they like you know the badass kids. Oh, they would yeah. like cut it off themselves. Like just let it heal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to remember if like mine was like the. I thought you were like in a sling. Your elbow? Yeah, no, no, I wasn't a sling. You're right. I was trying to, I was trying to figure out what they put on my arm because I had to wear something for like a month. I just don't remember what it was. Yeah, I broke my arm as a kid and had a glow in the dark cast. Oh, oh, nice. oh, you had money. Oh yeah, glow in the dark cast with a Power Ranger sticker. Weird because I don't remember other kids ever having glow in the dark cast. Interesting. I thought Weird that you took well, that for yourself. Would, but when they told it to me, they go, "Do you want this color, this color, or glow in the dark?" I'm like, "Glow in the dark." But then it just looked like that this way... really pale yellow. <laughs> oh, and everyone yeah. was like, why'd you get that color? I'm like, it glows in the You're dark. You're the only one who like, sees really? it. Yeah. <laughs> like, like it, the only time I could see it was when I was going Sleeping. to bed. I'm like, yeah. if all the kids at school could see this. Oh, want to look stupid at night, too? <laughs> Try the glow in the dark. <laughs> it's so funny, like, going out and seeing somebody in a cast. Like, it's just like. Oh, it <laughs> is? <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. Like, you just kind of get like. You want to be like, what happened? Fell off a tree. I don't like seeing older people in cast like our age. You're just like you're a, probably a drunk mess and did something well, stupid. Oh, oh. oh no, they're not old. I was at the mess. airport lounge and the woman who was like serving the bar, her arm is in a cast, and I'm like, <laughs> Bloody Mary. She's like, What do you want? I'm just like, Just I don't like a beer. She, she's like, she, whatever you she can. She grabs the make. cup and then sets it into it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's exactly. Like, it just, I hated just telling someone in a cast, like, I need you to move yeah. around and make something for me. Just the easiest thing, please. It's yeah. so good. You know what I just found out? And I'm kind of embarrassed by this. Hmm. <laughs> that? Did you just fart? No, it was, was a, a vibrate uh, from a text. <laughs> mm -hmm. And who's texting? <laughs> it squeaked uh, <laughs> as soon as um, you looked. So, I've always seen spider webs. And you know how they go from like a tree to the top of like a roof or it'll be like a really long distance. And I'm like, how are they doing that? Do they like start it? They stick it down and then they climb all the way down. Then they'll climb over here and then they'll climb up and like draw. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's what like, I would guess, too. That's what I've thought my yeah. entire life. That's not and it. I, I've always been like, how do they do it? And you never see like or do they like jump or what? What is the deal? They actually. <laughs> Well, they do. Yes. Oh, what? That, and then it made sense when I thought about Spider-Man because I've always thought like, why does Spider-Man shoot a web? Like that's stupid. So they just and they, they, so they do out, out, out their butt, out their out butt. Their, but right. it, it's able to shoot far. Yes. Yeah, they, they shoot far, but sometimes it, sometimes it doesn't latch, so they'll keep doing it until like Isn't it gets onto something. Blew my mind. <laughs> How did I not know that. I know. Now? And then when I thought about Spider-Man, I'm like, oh my god, it makes sense. He shoots the web. I thought that was just something because they need to make a human shoot it out somehow. <laughs> no. Oh Crazy. my god. I felt so stupid. I saw a video of a spider shooting it out of its ass and I'm like, <laughs> oh my god. Why are you looking up spider's asses? It's on my For You page. Okay. Yeah, I get prime content. <laughs> it, you it, pay monthly very for it? <laughs> very educational. <laughs> very educational. Damn, that's actually mind-blowing. Wow. Pretty fucking cool. They should have had Spider-Man shoot it out of his ass then. 
I don't know how well that, that would have been worked. a different. Uh, <laughs> his oh, that's swinging, a different his, movie. His swinging <laughs> through the buildings would look probably pretty funny. He's <laughs> <laughs> just, <laughs> just out of his. <laughs> but Spider Man, though, he shoots like a perfect web onto yeah. people, and that's a little like not factually accurate to the spider because the spider puts in the design. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Do you think Spider Man likes Charlotte's Web? Is that his favorite? <laughs> <laughs> is that a Dunder Mifflin cup? Sure is. Yeah. Company Picnic 09. Oh, Mariah likes the I have office. Scranton. Who do you have? New York? Uh, This one is, yeah, New York. Do you think they all hang out still or no? It's kind of like a. They do. <sighs> do you think there's like a office group chat? <gasps> oh. Probably. That's fun. I think they're too old for that. I don't think they have that. It's fun to imagine it though. I think they probably do. You think so? Maybe some of them. Well, Pam and Angela have a podcast, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, Jenna Fisher. Mm-hmm. It's still doing uh, well, right? I see like yeah. number one on like all and the... Then, yeah, they're um, above us. The other guy, he just started one or is starting one, I heard. Dwight? Ooh. Not Dwight. Um, Brian. Kevin. Oh, Kevin. Kevin. Oh, oh really? Yeah. Kevin. Okay, Kevin. By himself? I think so. Wow. Yeah. Behind the scenes of him dropping the chili. <laughs> Oh, Kevin is his real name as an actor is like Brian something, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know what? I can't stand some people on TikTok. They they have not replaced the battery in their smoke detectors. I never um, catch that. I oh, never. Catch I'm that. always looking for the comments where I'm like, is anyone hearing this? <laughs> like, fix that. You're listening to that, like like every thirty seconds throughout the day, just like. Bark. My brain isn't that advanced to hear that shit. <laughs> Man, I don't even hear it in my um, own house. I was saying. I can't believe some of the cast on The Office like kept their name. Like Angela is Angela, mm-hmm. and isn't um uh Meredith or no Oscar is Oscar. Oscar is Oscar. I wonder what like what that conversation looks like. Like, like why... do they have different names in the original script, and then they met them, and they're like, oh no, we'll we'll stick to oh, your name. Shoot, I'm forgetting my Office characters. Who's like the older lady? Um, oh Phyllis. Phyllis isn't is Phyllis. Phyllis is real yeah, Phyllis. she's mm-hmm. Phyllis. Yeah. So strange. I yeah. wonder if there was like original names for them. I but think they... when they auditioned, they were like, "It's perfect." That, that it just works. Yes. Yes. She yeah. is it's Phyllis. You. Yeah. Is she really Phyllis though? Yeah, she's okay. Phyllis. It's Phyllis, Oscar, Angela. There's one other one. She's the same character in everything I've ever seen her in. Phyllis. Yes, bad teacher. She was the she exact is literally character. Literally Phyllis. Yeah. yeah. She's also an Inside Out. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Same voice. Mm-hmm. Creed is Creed. Creed is Creed. Wow. Good. Creed. Yes. That's a great name. Creed. Creed. You know that like episode where he talks about his band that he used to be in? Yes. That's his real That's band. band. Yeah, his yes. real band. Wow. Yeah. I didn't know that. What does he play? Oh, I don't know. I just remember my dad pointed that That's out. That's cool. That's awesome that that show took off so hard because like the fact that they got their keep their they got to keep their real names, some shit's real that they talk about on the show, it makes it like that much better. Do you remember what the first three shows that you could buy the episodes on iTunes were? Friends. You could buy no. episodes. On- it was like before Netflix, like before streaming and everything, when the, you could like get the videos on your iPod. Do you remember oh, that? No, no, no. no. What, no it was lost. Office, Lost, and Desperate Housewives. Oh, I watched. Oh, I used to watch funny. Lost. I was a Lost fanatic. Yeah, every I episode was like it. two bucks. People were obsessed but it was like with a, that show. I love. It was our family show. Mike is still watching Lost, or he's it's still going it. on. No, no, he's. Oh, still I was like, oh my on. god, <laughs> Mike, get off the island! But didn't they get like crazy with like aliens or some shit? Yeah, yes. they, they did go too far, and that's what people didn't like about it. That's that why it I'm like, it's far. a soap opera. Just I don't want to offend any Lost fans. Okay, a lot. Like, sorry, you're telling me how many episodes in each season, and how many seasons that is? How many hours of my life? How long? How long? Like, how long are the um, or how long? Forty five minutes. They're pretty long. But the, it's long. It's mm-hmm. long, and it's extensive, and there's twists and there's turns, and you know. <laughs> Oh, Grey's Anatomy is on like season what, 30 or 40? That's disgusting. I think Grey's Anatomy is the only show that like went on for so long that didn't turn like cheesy or anything. It's still very interesting, I think. Is it? Is there anybody that's still on from episode one of Grey's yeah. Anatomy? Mer- yeah, Meredith. 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 The She's main, like the main, the main one. woman. Oh, I've never the, seen it. Isn't she like the number, like the highest paid? She's Grey. No, she's not. Her, her name's <laughs> Meredith Gray. Meredith Gray. Gray. Meredith Gray, yeah. Yeah. But what's like, isn't her rate like crazy per episode now? Because it's like gone so long. Probably. And just, it's like for her, it's just, like, imagine just like you're on the 30th season. You just come in. It's like, it's your, it's like you go to a friend's house. It's just so normal walking yeah. onto set. Yeah. After that be. long. 
I don't think I could do that. It becomes so easy, and you're getting paid so much per episode. I want to show Matt our new uh, TikTok obsession, that kid. Dr. Parkenstein. Oh, he yes, I know exactly I, who's that. I'm Dr. Parkenstein. I love you would him. Love He's him. from the Dallas area. Of course. No. I was he, gonna say, where does he live that like in he, his house isn't he getting is inspected? He's the most interesting person I've ever seen. Yeah. There's no way what, that house passes his, inspection. What's his what's his TikTok? What, who's this guy? Dr. Parkenstein? Yeah. He's from a different life, I like, swear. He seems like he's from the 30s. Like he's like either Da Vinci or um what's ha, another? Ha, very high IQ and has a big passion for how we did things in the olden days. Yeah. yeah. Like we'll have like okay. an authentic an like true stone um oven like you know what i mean yeah. like no it's a wood I, oven and in his backyard he's making like a super semiconductor have thing. you seen the, the wireless electricity yeah where the wireless he's, light bulb he's, he's sending wireless like with these fucking coils that are wrapped around his entire backyard it looks his like his backyard looks like the sandlot like the, the it's all the, big cr- like the, mis- the crane that they everything made everything in like that, that yard dude it's, it's just like and he's a great dancer too. Like he really? loves old timey oh, music and will like put on a record he's and got just this, does like a little jig. He's like, got this car from the twenties too. Like it is dude, he is so fucking cool. So he pretty much just shows all his gadgets and everything he has like on his he like page. He just makes things every day. He he explains how <laughs> things work from back then. He's like oh. he's like Tesla. Like he's a fucking genius. Yeah, yes. He's a and genius. he's basically like doing like experiments that he was doing back in the day. Oh, Zane, it's, it's just like so he time traveled. Cool. Yeah. Like he's not huh. he is not well, like I got to check him out. This is I haven't seen him on lifetime. my page in a while. I used to like see him all the he time. He sees him a lot. And then he followed him on Instagram. You could see he updates a lot on there. Oh. Okay, like, they will be showing you the magnifying transmitter at dusk. Okay, so I'm using the equal drive arrangement for the primary coil or tank circuit. I have and, no idea um, what I'm looking at. So I have five 14 he definitely doesn't sound like he's in this room. Side, like he's and five 14 like voice yeah. Yeah. capacitors on that side of the primary coil. Look at. I believe this motor that spins the rotary spark gap is 3,000 RPM. The spark gap wheel has 16 what points on it. What the fuck is Here that? Here are the thing? ratings of the transformer. It. Each turn around the coil is 74 feet. And each turn around the extra coil is 12.56 feet. There are almost 18 turns on the secondary coil and 100 turns on the extra coil. The sphere on the top is 20 inches in diameter. Is that guy from Phineas and Ferb? That is the spark gap that is at the nodal point of the secondary where it goes into the extra coil. Okay, first I'm going to throw shit? the switch for the rotary spark gap, and then I will throw the main switch. Oh my god! Me? And then he's lighting a light bulb across the, the yard, wirelessly. I just imagine him, ha ha ha, like he's a <laughs> fucking know. evil yeah. dog. Yeah, guy like, what is that? <laughs> Right. Holy shit! How fucking cool is that? I have no idea what I'm looking at. Yo, but someone's I'm, gonna pick him up. And I'm put fascinated. Him he either oh, yeah. had a past life or something. I'm so curious about this kid. He needs a discovery show, you know? Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh my. I'm surprised he doesn't have his own. Show. He's gonna get it very soon. He'll That's fucking up. insane. I actually like, think what's he his is family a doctor. Like? I think he is a really? doctor too. Like he's like he just has does it the all. Um, a genius. You know the credentials. Has a PhD, I think. And he, he, you know he can just fix anything. Oh my god! Whatever's broken, he just hey, knows hey how to my fix blender it. went out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got of, it. <laughs> he just creates that whole thing just to fix your blender. That's one. I wish I knew electrical, like just like that takes d- a special mind. Oh my yeah. god! I'm all about that. Dan, that's really cool. I'm gonna definitely check him out. Like that, like that's he's like a character. All of his shit is Him and so Jordan would get along so well. Yeah. Remember those videos I posted of Heath's friend from high school? You're like, who is this? And at oh, all, yes. all my comments were like, Matt King would love this kid. Oh, the like, kid's backyard? Oh, my God. Same vibe. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so cool. There was a TikTok that was like, tell me what you do now and tell me how you were in school or something like that. And Barbara from Shark Tank was like, I was a straight D student and graduated with like her GPA was like horrible. And she was like, and I have a multi-billion dollar. Wow. Man, let him know. I was Damn. like, 
there's hope for me. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, she did bad in school because she was too smart and didn't care about the grade. That's Shane. Yeah. But Shane did good in school, but he thought he was too smart for school. That so he was like, it's wasting my time. <laughs> it's wasting my fucking time. Because <laughs> these people know that they got it after they yeah. leave school. That's so... Uh, damn, having that mindset... I know. We just didn't want to be in school. I know. I just wasn't good at it. I was just failing. <laughs> I was actually trying my hardest. Me too. I was stressing out during school. Yeah. Straight C's. Me. C minus. That was like my favorite grade to have. I had C's and D's. Yeah. In everything? Except for math. I was good at math. What Everything else. What extracurriculars were you doing? I mean, just like music and culinary. Just shit that like I didn't have to do. I just had to pick something. There was nothing I was interested in. I didn't know what I wanted to do at all throughout my Should entire middle school and high stuff, school. Making videos. I know, but like I didn't know that I was going to get into that at all. I didn't even know that was a thing. Like the closest I got to that was Miss Rosario's class. I mm -hmm. was, it was like computer editing, like, but I hated it. I hated it. So I was like, oh, I'm never, I'm never go going to be doing anything like this. Yeah, yeah. And. But he was now. smart. He he went into drama. You were you, you, didn't he was you? smart. He went into drama. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? What, drama class. You're kind of doing that now. Like you're a in front of you're in front of. I, well, I didn't do it because I just have always done acting. Like I just like liked it. So I grew up like doing it in like middle and then high school and then college and then this all kind of happened afterwards. Our friend Thomas, he just put, he posted the story of our first Vine. Remember that Vine meetup that we had yeah, in like yeah, San yeah. Diego. He posted like a like a promo for it, and he had all of our faces in it. And he and he posted who liked it. Billie Eilish liked that post from that long yeah, ago. Yeah, no story. Way. It's crazy. I bet she went to it. Wow. <laughs> Imagine oh, if that's she weird went to, think to about. it. Pretty that's crazy. Fucking crazy. So she was just like. F Maybe she probably did, or she tried to meet like some people because she's young. Yeah. She's and, like in that that's really and we knew cool. she was like a huge fan girl because like Justin Bieber, just like this, like the old yeah. pictures, the old videos that she was supposed to. Oh, you know, she, she was like all, a like, uh, first time I ever like met Billie Eilish was after she had put out Ocean Eyes. Yeah. Um, and like the song was doing big, but she wasn't like that huge. And she was at a Phoebe Bridgers concert walking around a big puffy jacket. And I uh, just, she was just walking by. I'm like, I'm sorry, are you Billie Eilish? And she goes, yeah, bro, you're Matt King from Vine. And I'm like, oh, oh wow. my God. Like, it, but like the thing is like when the moment happened, she wasn't as huge as she is right. now. Right. So it was just like, you're awesome. She's like, bro, you're awesome too. And then I was like going up the stairs and she was coming down and she was like, baby, it's you. You're the one I love. <laughs> and I That's remember so when you cool. told me that, like, I remember like you talking about her and she wasn't like yeah. anywhere. Yeah, yeah, it was like probably 2000 and 15 16 yeah yeah Man, that's crazy but yeah i saw that i was just like that's fucking insane liking a vine meetup post yeah that's <laughs> remember dom mm -hmm. it was his post that's was fucking just... cool she was really in it she was following all those viners no but you should get back into acting I thought you were going to say back into Vine. Vine. <laughs> That's what yeah. I thought you were going to say. You think about hopping Vine. back on into Vine. Hi, my name is Heath Hassar, and I will be reading for the role of... Oh, that just made me sick to my stomach. Heath, you should try auditioning again. Auditioning for roles in season. I think it. you could do really well. Yeah. I just crack under pressure. Uh, but you're a good improviser, though. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate that. Yeah, I just like... For some reason, when I know I have... Like, okay. Go up there. Slate. And then... Oh, people are watching. I just get really uncomfortable. But in their heads, it's like you're going to be in front of a 40 person crew, so you better I be would able rather to do, do seven. That. I would rather do. Yeah, that. I'm the same way with dancing. Like I'd rather perform in front of thousands of people than 10 people. Hmm. I can get on stage. Yeah, I'm the same way. And yeah. then you know, like the people sitting there in the room, like just watching judging. you, like audition, or the like literally ripping and picking you apart. But for <laughs> some reason, <laughs> if I was on set, I'd, it would make me feel better. Like yeah. you, you are able to release and get into that acting mentality mm -hmm. easier. Yeah. And you know, everybody there is just trying to get through the day and just trying to get this shit done. So like, they're not really sitting there judging you. They're kind of just like, all right, all right, let's go. Which makes yeah. you work better. Just throw me in the role. I would do that. Yeah. I want to like direct book. Yeah. Oh, there's That's some the auditions best. that I go on for dance and they like will literally stop people like three seconds into them yeah. dancing. They're like, you're good. That's Thank you for awful. coming. And it makes you feel that much more confident too that you like directly got this role. So you like you feel just that much better before you go on set and you're just like yeah. performing. I'm wanted here. Exactly. That's how I felt about Drake Music Video. I was like, oh, I'm kind of wanted here. So like I had a little bit more confidence <laughs> yeah. in doing it. It helps. So guys, you should direct book, please. Yeah. <laughs> like they have the Stop other. auditioning. <laughs> like, <laughs> just direct book. Just, just direct book. Hire me. Fucking dragon ass right now.
No, I'm it's a Tuesday. I right now for the people so listening and watching. It's I just like I'm so hungry I can't. I'm even like think. shutting down. This is real this is real, okay? Yeah, we're being real. This is Sorry. real this, this is, is really raw. Us. Oh, we're <laughs> keeping this in. I'd scrap this. Oh yeah, we're dragging guys. Episode. Sorry. <laughs> dragon ass. Dragon ass. But hey, we have some <sighs> days are like that, you know? It makes sense. But we're all just chilling. You know, we're all chilling here at the end of the day, right? You guys mm -hmm. are listening, you guys are chilling with us. This is the real out. us. Yeah. Well, I hope everybody is enjoying their summer. I hope you guys are having the best summer ever. Summer started like June twenty, like late June. It's crazy. The it, older like, you get, you started. forget when like the summer, school, like school gets off and summer it's starts. It's middle of July. Like this is when you're in full awareness. Like summer, yeah, it's happening right now, and it will be over in like you know August, yeah. end of August. Yeah. I know. So you only have a few more weeks. All right, guys. Thank you so much for tuning into another episode of Zany Heath Unfiltered. Um, I forgot how to outro. That's all right. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Um, you can check us out every Monday. <laughs> you can check us out every. You can check us out every Monday on the Spotify, on the Apple Podcasts, and we post every Tuesday video form on youtubecom slash Zane and Heath. Also, wow, they just gave make up sure on to us. check out the highlight channel and also our TikTok page. Thank you. We need to. We need to be on. Our, we need. We, we need to be posting more on that. Oh my god. And guys, our our coffee is sold out. So. Sorry yeah, about sorry that. about that. It's we're, still we're trying out. to we're trying to work through some stuff and get it up and running for you guys again. Um, yeah. So bear with us. We're trying to get everybody's coffee out. Um, really apologize. It's about tough the, to run uh, a company. We're learning that quick. It's our first yeah. business and it's it, it's hard. It's it, I feel like every first year is always rough, you know. Mm -hmm. But we're pushing through and we'll we'll get those coffees back up on the page. All right, we love you guys and we'll see you next week. Bye bye. <laughs>